Hi everyone, welcome to Tony Fox Tarot. Thanks for joining me today, great to have you with me. Today we're looking at a no contact situation, so are they going to reach out? Now, we are going to look at who this person is, get an understanding of what they're thinking and feeling, the circumstances between the both of you, how you're thinking and feeling about this person, and most importantly, an outcome as to whether they'll actually reach out. Now, before we get started, if you would like to go down below and hit subscribe, tap on the bell icon while you're there, it'll give you notifications for any future readings that I post. Please like and share this video where you can, and if you're interested in the services that I offer as a psychic tarot reader, you can go to www.tonyfoxtarot.com. There's plenty of information about who it is that I am, what it is that I do, and how it is you can access my services as a psychic tarot reader. Now, before you're on the screen, we've got four different cards, and the idea is to choose a card that resonates with you really clearly. Once you've made that choice, that will be your reading. It's perfectly fine to choose more than one card if it comes to really strongly for you. And just remember, this is a this is a general reading, so take what resonates and leave behind anything that doesn't. Now, we've got card one, card two, card three, and card four. So taking a moment to be with the cards, drawing in a nice deep breath, and as you release the breath, listening to your intuition, your inner voice, the energy of the cards. Which of these comes through for you the strongest? Is it card one, card two, card three, or card four? So down below, there are four different timestamps representing each of these different cards. If you'd like to go to the one that you've chosen, I'll see you in a moment. Hi everyone, welcome to card number one. So here we are looking at a no contact situation. Is this person gonna reach out to you? Let's jump in and have a look and see what's going on here. And I'm up here at the sun and the seven of wands. You know, I, I, there's a lot about this reading that says to me that you and this person have so much in common. Like I kind of feel almost like you're very, you're very similar people in a lot of different ways. Um, I think this other person's very optimistic, um, very very hands-on at, at, at solving problems. So, so solutions-based focus is what I get, you know? Um, not one to sit around um, being a victim of circumstances, you know, really sort of puts a lot of effort into making things happen in a way that um gets to a better place and i kind of feel like when you met this person there's, there's some sort of a transition going on in terms of their world it's like they're half in and half out of two different worlds um i think when they've met you they've been <laughs> very taken by you you know you've been like a beacon of light to them in a way it, it, just in terms of your personality and and like an affinity to you Maybe at a soul level, um, definitely, definitely at a person, a personality level. There's a lot of attraction there. This, this, and this attraction has really captured them and kind of almost been been catalytic in some ways to force them to think, you know, I want a better life than what I've got now. Um, and they've worked very hard towards getting to a place with you, to sort of transitioning into some kind of a connection or a life with you even I would say um they've worked very hard at this and I feel that they've seen greener pastures and I don't mean that in a negative way I mean quite quite literally I think they just see that the, the promise of being with you has been a really big draw it's like you know this this sense of potential and happiness to be with somebody else who's kind of like-minded really I think I think you've been an you know like your influence has been an eye-opener for this person in a way where they've um yeah, just, 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 just seeing that life could be a lot better. You know, the sun is all about happiness. It's positivity, high vibrational stuff. You know, like it's, it's, it's a lovely frequency card, you know, as much as it gives you a lot of fulfillment. And this is, a, you know, the seven of wands is a card of, of, of great, great effort. You know, um, it's a stellar card in terms of putting in the, I guess, the groundwork to make something happen. And, um, they've been very focused on you. It has been struggle though. There's been a lot of struggle in trying to maintain the, the the momentum to get to be at a place with you. I feel there has been a lot for them to keep on top of in terms of making that transition. I wondered, you know, because the sun is a is strong card for, for children. And I wonder whether this, for some of you, not everybody, but for some of you, whether this 
person was in a previous relationship and may have had kids. Um, if it's not that, you know, it could be just that they've got an old life that they just want to disentangle themselves from. Um, and they want a new life. You know, that's, 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 that's a big thing for a lot of people to make, make those sorts of changes. You know, to kind of say, I'm going to really turn this around. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to live like this anymore. I want to live a different life with somebody else that I really, I really identify with. And I feel there has been quite, quite a bit of struggle, although they've been up for the task. You know, they've, they've really pushed very hard to, to make this happen. Um, I feel he's a very, very physical person. Like I do, like, and I think the Seven of Wands reflects that. You know, I feel this is somebody with an enormous amount of energy, very positively um, engaged, you know, very optimistic. And, I, I, but, but there's a physicality there that just feel, that feels very in touch with, you know, keeping fit or, or, you know, like just, yeah, there, there, there's a, a lot of, I think there's a lot of energy to do stuff. You know, it's not not that it's limitless, uh, but but you know they're kind of up for a challenge. It's like yeah, let's let's get into it, let's do it, let's take it on, let's go for a mountain hike, let's go for. I, you know, I feel like this person could run a marathon. I feel like you know they'd be up, they'd be up for a challenge. Like if there's a challenge there, it's like yeah, let's do it. And they'd be very positively minded about how you actually go about doing it. You know, it's sort of they're not one to sit around and kind of you know, um, drink beer and watch television and, you know, um, you know, watch sports and all that sort of stuff. Or, 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 or you know, I guess what I'm trying to say there, because it doesn't mean, you know, it's a him or a her or it's, it's a them, it's, it's an anybody, but it's, they're not sedentary. They don't sit around. Um, they like to keep active. They like to keep fit. They like to keep on top of it. Very, very motivated, very active is what I'm trying to say. But, you know, like, I think if I come over here to the devil and the eight of, so, you know, like, it's, a, it's, a, it's like, it's all of a sudden, like, here you are now. It's like, this person's just not communicating at all. At all. Um, all of a sudden, they can't see any potential. It's kind of, it's almost like polar, a polarized experience. I feel like they're burnt out, actually. I feel like this person's just kind of reached a point where it's like, oh, God, I can't, I can't see the wood for the trees. Um, it's in, in some ways, because they are burnt out, all of a sudden, all they can see is, is, is sort of problems. Um... And, and 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 they're really struggling to kind of get past a situation where 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 they where where they sort of have a vision for the future. All of a sudden, they just can't see what's going on. I feel I feel this is kind of like where things maybe point to to a relationship or a situation. Okay, where this person is being controlled or manipulated. I feel like somebody's pulling strings here from whatever life they were coming from. Okay um and trying to get away from it's almost like it's caught up with them and pulled them back into a way of thinking or of being manipulated that stops them from thinking about what they have the power to do and i think a lot of the reason why that's happened is because of the susceptibility to being burnt out has just really gotten on top of them uh, they, I, I feel like there is fear and suffering at the moment. It's like they, they're they not in control of this, their circumstances. I feel like the rug's been pulled out from underneath their feet. It's like gone, gone from sort of like, yeah, I'm going to do this. Let's be together, you know, push forward and make this happen into, into sort of like, I just, I can't even, I can't even begin to deal with it because at the end of the day, I'm, I'm, I'm back exactly where it is that I started from. And I don't feel like I actually have the power to be able to make a decision that actually takes me to where, where I feel like they're in jail, actually. Um, could be literal for some of you, or it could be that they're in their mind they've been jailed. You know, like like they've been stopped from from doing. It's like they had their freedom taken away. Something has actually forced them into a corner. Something has a hold over them. Something is stopping them from opening the door. Even if it's just so like a mental focus, it's like they they've kind of had that 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 freedom taken away from. So, so it's like there's no vision there. Um, the, the, the potential to do something that actually is about what you want is no longer possible because, again, the freedom is, has been taken away from you. It, it feels very complex. It's, it's, and I think that's what, what the suffering is about. All of a sudden, circumstantially, everything is very complex for them. It's like, I want to be with you, but I can't even see how that can happen at the moment. And... You know, the, the, the burning desire is still there. You know, the devil is very, you know, fiery card, you know, like it's, it's and it's about relations. It's about what you can't have, you know, 
And you know, so they want to, they want to, they do want to be with you. They do actually want to be with you, but they, but they don't have the power to, to, to sort of, you know, execute that decision at the moment. You know, everything feels quite desperate, um, very complex, very problem focused, which is not in their nature. Which is why, why I feel that this is actually circumstantial. <clears throat> Something or somebody has a hold over them, pulling them back into where it is that they were trying to get away from in the first place. And um, it's all of a sudden, it's, it's, it's become too much. It's like, in some ways, you know, I don't want to say that they, they've given up because I just, I think they're a victim of circumstance. And I think for me, all of a sudden, everybody is an enemy, you know, like the people or, or the circumstances that they're caught up in. It's like, you know, wh whichever way they turn, there's something set against them, something stopping them from being able to um, freely go do whatever it is that they want to do. So the devil is, 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 is also a difficult relationship. And I feel, I did feel that that could be a past relationship and it might not be intimate. It doesn't have to be intimate. It could be a relationship, uh, a professional relationship. It could be a social relationship, a family relationship. It's, but it's a relationship of some sort. I mean, the devil often indicates intimacy, but not always. And the eight of one, uh, uh, sorry, swords is definitely a card of manipulation, oppression. I, I kind of just feel like whatever is going on there, it's just like really gotten a grab on them in a way where it's pushing them down. It's, it's, it's literally suffocating, not literally suffocating them, but you know, metaphorically suffocating them in a way where it's like, oh God, I just, I can't see one way or the other. And you know, so, so perhaps this person is, 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 is actively, or this situation is actively um, encircling them in a way where, you know, it's trying to get the better of them. You know, it's, it's, it, there's, there's a lot of deceit going on here. You know, you can see that through the oppressive nature of the Eight of Swords and the Devil, these are negative energies. These are energies that are out to get you in some ways, you know. Um, so, 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 so from that point of view, very difficult. If we come down here to Strength and the Page of Wands, and I felt that this was a very reflective of you. And, I, you know, like this is where I think you're really similar. Um, and, and when I say similar, more in line with what I was discussing, you know, at the beginning of the reading about this person, I kind of feel you have moved, because I feel like a bit of time's moved on here, okay? Um, this person hasn't been in contact for a while. Um, they just, just, they haven't been giving you any indication whatsoever as to what's going on. Um, you're very instinctual. You can see that with the wands here. And, and, and I, feel, I feel that, you know, you've moved on a bit, but you're still waiting to hear back and you're very open about this. You haven't closed the door on them. You've got the door open. And I think also you're remaining very positive. You know, you can see that here with the Page of Wands, optimistic view, you know, the potential of, 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 of you know, seeing things in a, in a constructive fashion. And I think the thing is you're up for it. I think, I feel like, I feel like, you know, you, 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 with, with the here, with the strength, you know, you're very, you're, you're, your feelings with this person are very strong, but they're also very controlled. And so I feel like you haven't given, you haven't given up. You keep an optimistic view, but at the same time, you know, you're trying not to get your hopes up too high. So you're kind of leaving the door ajar, you know, and, and I feel here with the six of, Wands. It's like you know, if they came back into your world, you know, if they're back on board, you'd be like, yeah, let's let's go for it. You know, you'd be up for a new beginning. I, I also felt that instinctually, you felt optimistic about what was going to happen. So although you're here having this reading now, although you're asking the questions about whether they're going to contact you, there's a sense of of potential here that it's going to happen because your instincts are saying, you know what, I feel quite strongly that there is a future here with this person. And I feel that this is actually going to succeed in terms of the outcome. And, you know, so, so it really reflects on your positive frame of mind, you know, that, that, that is instinctual energy to tap into what's going on in a way with potential. And I think that's where you and this person are really, really similar. And that's why you have this affinity. And that the old world of this person has kind of caught up with them. The, the world that they're trying to get away from, which is very negative, very oppressive, very controlling. They don't want to have anything to do that with that anymore. They want to be with somebody who is like-minded, like you. And I feel that this is a very strong soul connection here going on between the two of you. Here with success and growth, this is a really good card because it actually gives you some very um, constructive uh, advice, really. Um, it's success and growth. 
you know, it's, it's about staying focused on your heart energy, yeah? Um, it indicates success being at hand in a way that gives you successful resolution. And you feel that. And the thing is, just, you know, really, if you have a moment of doubt, tap back into that heart energy and, and, and really believe in the instinct that's actually driving you forward here. This is a card that comes up for periods of greater understanding and personal growth. But it's also saying to you, this card says, look for messages that are coming through. So, you know, look towards nature, look towards your spirit guides, look towards messages that you find all of a sudden just resonate with you on television or in a book. You know, it's you know, the messages are there to support you and to reinforce the positivity that you feel about the connection with this particular person. And the outcome will actually really co-align with what your instincts are actually saying. And if we come up here, to the world and the queen of pentacles, you know, like I feel this is um, an outcome, yeah, that, 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 that looks towards a very liberated outcome. I feel that this person will contact you. It might be a few months, you know. I feel that within a few months, this person has tied, you know, freed themselves up from the ties of the past. And they're ready to put down roots in a way where their life is in a completely different place. I feel like they're attentive and ready um, and that they're going to lead the way. They'll, they'll be the one to contact you. This is this is about them leading the way with some kind of assertive and mean, meaningful communication. It's like there's a long time between drinks here. It's like all of a sudden there's this big gap that almost feels like it had to happen. It's like this person at the moment is like, I can't deal with it. I can't deal with talking to you. I can't deal with looking at my future. I can't deal with anything that's going on in front of me. I'm trying to get to grips in my mind with what's going on. It's, it's, it's kind of almost in some ways, they've been forced to the edge of the cliff to look over it in a way that says, you know, like, you know, I have no, you know, they, they need to get to a point where, where, where they're totally resolved about what they don't want and about saying no. And, but but it's, it's not just about saying no with, with the old life. It's actually about putting their affairs in order. You know, it's, it's like they've got a lot to deal with. It's overwhelming. But this person does have the tenacity. You know, they, 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 the one thing that they, they can do is maintain course by just chipping away at things and, 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 and getting on top of it. And, you know, the reality is that the die has already been set. You know, that the, they, they, they feel a very strong link to you. And although they're going through this difficult phase, the end result will be that they'll show an expression of intent that is really clear. And I felt that they would actually also put their money where, there was, where, where, their mouth, where their mouth was. You know, it's like once they're back in your world, they'll very quickly work towards this idea of settling down and putting down roots. You can see that here with the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is a very aspirational card. And the world is all about success and fulfillment. You know, this person has a really strong nurturing energy. You know, they kind of want to settle down and they want to have some nice things in life. They want a nice house, a nice car, and they want a bit of money in the bank, but they want to take care of somebody as well. There's a lot of nurturing intent in this card and they want success. They want more than most people would probably want. And I think this person's working very hard towards a life that actually can provide that. Just be a little bit forgiving. This is a transitionary period for this person. They're, they're coming from an old way of living, an old life, yeah? With a lot of circumstances and influences that are very negatively trying to pull them back into a controlled situation. And what they want is something transformational, something very new, and they want that with you. And they will reach out. They will reach out to contact you. I hope this reading has made some sense. And if it has, feel free to leave some comments down below. It'd be great to get your feedback. Like and share this video where you can. Hit subscribe, tap on the bell icon. That'll give you notifications for any future readings that I post. And if you're interested in the services that I offer as a psychic tarot reader, you can go to www.tonyfoxtarot.com. Thanks very much and take care. Bye. Hi, everyone. Welcome to card number two. This is your reading and we're looking at... Whether this person's going to reach out to you and make contact. So let's jump on in and have a look and see what's going on. And I want to come down here to the Empress and the Seven of Wands. I felt this was a, a reference point to start with you and where things have been at in terms of the connection with this particular person. I felt that you really felt that this person was right for you. Um, 
I felt that there'd been a lot of progress that had been made over a period of time. You were quite invested in this connection. And for me, this is what feels like a relationship. And I felt that it, were, it had momentum. It was actually going in a place that led you to believe that there was a future. You know, what is interesting about these cards here are the Empress, Seven of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. Yeah, the Ten of Cups and the, and the Empress in particular, very family orientated cards. You know, for a lot of you, this could be me, this could mean the idea of having children or having family um, with this person. You know, maybe it felt like you were gaining momentum in, in, in that particular direction and that that was where it was all heading, you know, happy family stuff, settling down to have kids. And I felt for a lot of you, given the empresses in this in this in this particular aspect, um, you know, very very maternally driven. So there's a real sense of feeling like you know this could be the person that I really want to be with. Actually, no, it's not. Could this feels like it's the person that I really want to be with? There's a, ma a a maternal drive pushing me towards having a family and children, and um, yeah. And, you know, like if that's not right for you, you know, if, if that doesn't resonate with you, there's definitely a sense that this has been a really productive period of time with this person that's just kind of led in the right direction and that you felt a sense of belonging with this person and that you could settle down with them, that they felt right for you. There has been um something that's happened here that's left me to think that you've actually had to defend your ground and stand firm in a way where you know it's like you're having to fight um f for your your position here to keep this person in your world i felt that you're not it's like you're saying to yourself you know it's like i'm not going to take this lying down you know whatever it is that's going on here this is this is not right, you know, and I need to stand up for myself and I need to be accountable in a way that says, no way, you're not gonna walk over me. And um, and I believe and I believe in us, I believe in where we're going, and I believe in what we're doing, and I still want this. So so for me, the door is open in a way where you're saying, I am actively pursuing this person, and although they haven't been liaising or contacting you it's like there seems to be other stuff that's going on in the background where you're really having to fight your position you know make it known to um the circumstances that are prevailing you know whether that's other people or or, or whatever the, whatever it is that, whatever it is that's going on um yeah you have to stand up and be accountable. I come up here to the Emperor and the Eight of Wands, and I felt this re represented the other person. I, this this person can be quite stubborn. Um, they have a tendency to sort of stick their to, to kind, of, kind of stick to their guns, you know, in a way where they dig their heels in and you know they they don't let up. Yeah, there's an inflexibility about them. They want to be right. They want to be in control, and. Um, and I felt at times that they could be quite dominating, you know, um, you know, they like to have things going their way. Um, I, felt, I felt somebody had the ear of this person. I felt that there was a, a figure of influence that was dominating them in some way that had a steer on them in terms of where they were focusing on, what they were looking at. And I felt that this could be somebody that's actually very close to them. It could be in, in the family, like it could be a father figure or a very, a, a very dominant figure that has a lot of sway over this person. Um, it could be somebody who is not just of an influence, but, you know, like, um, almost like a mentor. You know, this is somebody that they, that they look up to and that they listen to and they have a lot of time for. And I don't necessarily think that this person has this person's um, best interests at heart, though. I, th I think they have an agenda. That's how I feel. It's, it's almost like they're pushing some kind of some kind of narrative, you know? It's like, you know, forcing them to look at things in a particular way. And I felt I felt that that, in combination with the, the stubbornness of this other person, it's like, well, okay, um, you know, I'm gonna listen to them and, you know, 
and I'm gonna and I'm gonna stop this in its tracks, and I'm not gonna communicate with you for the time being. So it's kind of it's kind of they, they've just stopped. You know, they've they they've kind of pulled back, and they've taken a position, and they've been very inflexible about it. That's what I feel about this. Is it digging my heels in? It's not up. It's not up to me to call you, and it's not up to me to make this right. It's, 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 I think that they're actually also projecting onto you that you've done something wrong. And I'll go, go into more about that, looking back here to the devil and the five of cups. And I, and I do feel that in the lead up to this has been a fallout between the two of you. So we're kind of going around this in a sort of, you know, forward to backwards fashion. I felt that there had been a fallout between the two of you. And I felt that... This person had been really disappointed in you. You know, it's like, you know, somehow you failed them. It's like, how could you do this to me? Why would you do this to me? I'm, you know, I'm so disappointed in, in, in you. Um, there's a lot of grief there. There's, there's a, a lot of emotional reaction going on in a way where I feel really let down, really disappointed. It's just like, I can't, no, I can't deal with you now. I can't, I can't talk to you. Um, I'm done with this. You know, this is too much. I don't know if I can get over this. But I feel like this stems from some kind of social situation. I felt that there was more than one, one person involved in what's happening here. I feel like it's almost like a small clique of people, uh, you know, like maybe a close group of friends, maybe three or four people, maybe one, two or three, four people. You know, it's kind of within that range. It just kind of feels like a clique of people. Um, you know, it could also be family, like a small clique of family. Um, but I, f I felt that some kind of, you know, almost like an external factor that has actively and very pointedly made an effort to derail the, the, the relationship. I'm going to call it a relationship because I do feel that this actually is a strong connection that is based on some solid ground. And the two of you actually had some sort of a loving flow going on here, right? I feel that external to that, that there's a, you know, like a, a clicky group of people or a, or, or a close friend that's just taken issue with you, I feel like it's actually with you. It's almost like they've been very, they've been very jealous of the closeness between you and this person. Very, um, very protective of, of of the person that you know here. Yeah, the partner that you've had here. Um, I feel like somebody's whispered something in their ear. I feel like somebody has said something and made an effort to, yeah, in a, in a really deceitful way. Um, put you into some kind of a bad light. And this person has been very influenced by these people in a way where, you know, it's, it's sort of like the, almost like a collaboration to kind of really um, get the ear of them in a way where, 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 where they sort of, you know, cast you in a particular light, yeah? One person in particular, though, I kind of feel, and it comes back to the center of the reading here, and there's one person in particular that really has a hold over this, 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 this person, yeah? And um, relations have obviously soured. And I kind of feel like it's an us against them situation. I feel like you're having to hold your position. You're having to defend yourself. You're having to dig your heels in in, 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 in your own way. Um, you're having to stand up for yourself, having to fight for, for, for what it is that you really believe in. Yeah? The truth of this relationship is what this is all about. So, so this is not a this is this is not a straightforward situation of it just being between you and them. It's it's there's a third party involved here, yeah, an external influence that has actually um, soured relations, and there's an agenda here that is about taking the narrative and trying to kind of you know push the person that you really feel for in a very different direction. It shows a great deal of vulnerability um, with the other person, actually. And and I think that this is a, you know, like it's a it's a it's, it's a betrayal of trust in their eyes. OK, the disappointment. But one thing I will say is I kind of feel that where things are at at the moment, it's 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 a, there's an emotional vulnerability going on with the, with this other person. Um, I think they're absorbed by the disappointment of what they've been told and what they've been led to believe. And I don't think that they've had time to really sift it down and to get to the truth within their heart. OK, it's all about whispers. Yeah, yeah. it's all about um, the narrative that somebody else is pushing and the agenda that they have. And I will be honest with you, I think that this this other person can be very 
dominating and very stubborn um, and, and inflexible, but there's a very um, loving, natural human side to them that I feel, you know, is in the balance to give this some um, kind of, I guess, perspective, you know, so that I, I, I don't feel that they would make a rash decision that cuts their nose off despite their face. I don't feel like that's where it's at. And I feel to some degree, I think that you actually also are quite confident that you can get this back into order and that it's going to take some effort and that maybe you have to appease a few people. Maybe you actually have to play politics here, you know, make a few other people happy, not buy into it in a way where you sour this even further make it even 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 worse than it really um already is because if you do that then that actually may, may put you into a really bad light and at the end of the day how much do you really want to take on here and it's up to the other person to kind of figure this out in all honesty and i think this is where trust comes into light for me because you have to trust that you're on the right path okay you have to trust in the universe and in terms of that process of saying you know you you, you put your fears aside and you trust that this is worth fighting for and that you know deep down that you have a love for this person and that, you know, it has to work out based on the truth of that connection. You know, if, if this person didn't step up and really figure out at a heart level what what was going on here in terms of the connection that you have, um, you know, it probably wouldn't be worth it, in all honesty. And I think that that's where the Ten of the ten of Wands is a really important card because, you know, it's, it's about the questioning of whether this is worth it. You know, do I really want this? Is this really what I want? And if I do, um, am I prepared to, to, to resolve myself to the truth? And, and I think that you are. But I think this is the process that this other person needs to really figure out. And that's not quite where they're at. Okay? Because they need to trust in you. <laughs> this, is, this is fundamentally about trust, a betrayal of trust. Um, and I just don't feel that you've, you've had your side of the story, an opportunity to tell your side of the story. I think that this is, this is a part of where the problem is at. This person's taken at face value what other people have said and kind of run with it and made a judgment on you that's completely misjudged your character. And, and you know, it's, it's the stubbornness that's gotten in their way. Maybe a bit of pride as well, you know, um, not wanting to kind of back down and look bad in front, bad in front of other people. Uh, you know, so it, it's about getting your priorities right. And I feel that process needs to take place on that on that particular level that this person needs to allow themselves to, be, to to feel vulnerable they need to let their guard down it's like okay hang on a second you know it's, it's not about my pride it's not about being right it's not about everybody else it's actually about me and the other person and you know how do i really feel about that am i going to let this this situation um, get the better of me or am I actually going to figure out whether I really love this person? I really want to be with this person. You know, is, 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 is my relationship with this person worth fighting for? That, that, they're the questions that this person needs to ask. And I do feel that there is a process of them becoming more vulnerable, allowing the truth to sort of rise up in a way where they soften their stance and they start to look at both sides of the story because at the moment it's just one-sided. And if I look at where the outcome is, 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 is going, it, if, for me, this feels positive, okay? I, I, I feel that this person is going to reach out, that they will make contact. It will be them who does it as well. I think that you're trying to make contact at the moment. I think you've actually put a lot of effort into to doing that. But they've, they, they, they're, 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 they've closed the door on you just at the moment. But, you know, I feel that there's a process that's taking place. They'll soften their stance and they'll begin to get in touch with... The, the heart position, you know, kind of looking within at a much more heartfelt level. Uh, it's the recognition of the truth of how there is that they really feel. And you can see that here with the Queen of Cups. It's all about love. You know, um, this person has the emotional maturity to rise up and, and, and really, you know, look at this from an honest perspective. And I felt that there was contemplation here, you know, an acceptance of the truth. And a look, and, and so accepting your side of the story, but also looking at where they've gone wrong and, and and what's needed to heal this situation. Because, you know, the Queen of Cups is a nurturing card. It's a healing card. It's a card of compassion, acceptance, love and truth. And it's coupled with the Wheel of Fortune. It's, it's, it's the acceptance that fate 
has brought you together and that there is a future together, you know? That they're prepared to take a risk on this relationship because they really love you and that they have to listen to that as a guiding force, not what other people are saying behind your back. So I feel this person will reach out in a really loving and compassionate way. I, I feel like they come to their senses and um, that they will see that there's a future together between the two of you and that they feel that fate is actually bringing you both, you know, into a position where you can spin the dice and and and, and take a chance on, on, on a future together. I, there's a lot of learning in this. I feel this person will actually resolve to a great degree um, what's going on in a way, in a way where um, there will be healing in this, okay? Um, just one more thing. I felt also for those of you who kind of resonate with the idea of, you know, children and, and, and settling down and having a family, I, I, I felt that this person would actually also want to, 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 to settle down and, and, and have kids or, or to sort of you know, nurture the relationship in a way where, where there was a, you know, like a family picture. Um, and if, the, if it's not that for you, it's definitely about the nurturing idea of, you know, settling into the relationship and actually making this into something that evolves into a very connected experience. So I hope this reading has made some sense and if it has, feel free to leave some comments down below. It'd be great to get your feedback. Like and share this video where you can. Hit subscribe. Tap on the bell icon. That'll give you notifications for any future readings that I post. And if you're interested in the services that I offer as a psychic tarot reader, you can go to www.tonyfoxtarot.com. Plenty of information about who it is that I am what is they do and how it is you can access my service as a psychic tarot reader. Thanks very much and take care. Hi everyone, welcome to card number three. So we're looking at a no contact situation day. So are they gonna reach out to you? Now let's jump in, figure this one out. And I'm gonna start up here with the hangman and the two of pentacles. <clears throat> I, I, like, I definitely feel that you've both hit it off in a way where you get along really well. There's a lot in common here. Um, a definite connection there. You can see that's quite strong. So I, I, I did feel that it got to a point where things have been very intensive, maybe a little bit whirlwind. Um, you know, it, I kind of feel like the, the, the light has burned really brightly for the two of you. It feels like you've gotten to know each other. I don't feel like this is a long-term courtship or, or situation. I, I felt this was intensive, short, sharp, and a bit whirlwind. Um, you know, it, it feels like a fling. It's like you've, you, you've, you've kind of, you know, you've paired up with somebody. You've gotten to kind of know each other in, in, in a very sort of intimate way. Um, maybe a couple of months. Maybe a bit longer. It might be just a couple of weeks. Um... I think there's some really interesting perspectives here. I, I felt like this other person looked at things very differently. Um, you know, they kind of thought outside of the box. Um, there, there, there's interesting perspectives there for me. I think this is quite a creative individual who has a bit of a spiritual thread as well. And I, I, and I did feel that the two of you actually were very much linked on that level. Um, it, it just kind of, I kind of feel like there's a lot of mirroring going on here that speaks to me in a way or it says, I feel like I know you. I feel like I know you and I feel like I've known you for a long time, maybe another lifetime or, you know, maybe it's, it's, that, it's just that familiarity you get with somebody um, that doesn't translate into a normal kind of experience with somebody um, when you when you meet them and, and, and sort of have that kind of partnership potential is what I feel, right? And there's this feeling that it's gonna go somewhere you know, um, it feels, it has this, it's like it really feels like it's got a potential. And you can see that here with the two of pentacles. It's all about the connection. It's about the reciprocation, the mirroring, the spiritual contact at a, at a, at a very soul level. Um, it's, it's, it's all kind of going on, you know, like it's just, it's all there. And you know, the hangman kind of amplifies that 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 perspective in a way, you know, like because there's a very spiritual card that has a lot going on underneath the surface. But where I think this has gone kind of wrong is that it hasn't gone anywhere. Okay. 
um, this person's hit the brakes and you can see that again with a hangman, it's a stop card, you know, you need to make sacrifices in order to move on, you know, in order to, to realise the full potential of what's going on here between the two of you, you know, you need to give it something, you need to put something on the table that, you know, that's about the substance of moving it forward into the future. And I felt maybe for some of you, this person's blocked you, um, you know, whether that's social media or just kind of not taking your calls. Not taking any messages, not just not responding. Yeah, um, they pull back, and you know they 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 they've, they've they've definitely stopped contact here, right? And I want to lead you up to this point, but looking more into the past, we come over here to the Devil and the Four of Cups. There's a, there's a lot going on here that actually speaks of the personality of this person, and I felt that when you first met them, they had like a bit of an attitude problem. Yeah. Um, I think they were giving off really strong vibes and not really feeling very interested, maybe, yeah? Um, you know, just really, um, almost like playing really hard to get. It's, it's this sort of like, there's a, you can see here with the devil, there's a really strong physical attraction here between the two of you, yeah? It's like very, very, very sexually sharp, like very, very sexually intense. <clears throat> Um, but this person's kind of going, yeah, no, I'm busy, you know, I don't have time for this, or, you know, like, you know, I, I see you, but I'm not really interested. It's kind of giving off that vibe, you know, it's like you're playing really hard to get. Um, maybe a little bit too hard, you know, maybe, maybe playing like, you know, I'm so, I'm so not interested, I'm, I'm like, you know, going, you know, off the charts in terms of being cold on it. Um, so I kind of feel there has been... You know, like almost like a, a precursor to not taking this very seriously is what I'm trying to say to you. Yeah. <clears throat> and the four of the four of cards, you know, gives out that vibe of not being interested. But at the same time, it also says to me that there's there's also kind of like there's been other people around as well, you know, like I kind of feel maybe this person's actually um had had a had a sort of thread of relationships or, or you know, a number of flings with other people where they just um, yeah, just, they, they, they're just not, they've just not found the person they really want to be with. And they're kind of almost a bit disillusioned about what the idea of a relationship is. And, you know, in, in some ways, they're, 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 just, they're, they're saying that they're not ready. Okay. Um, I, qu I questioned, you know, because, you know, the devil is a really naughty card, you know, like it's a very spicy card, you know, it's a very promiscuous card. There's a lot of sexual energy in it. Um, I wondered whether there had been a situation of them playing the field, you know, really kind of like looking out for what's going on here in a way that says, you know, like I'm keeping all of my options open. I've had other offers. Yeah, I can see you. I can see that you're, you know, you're really trying to make a move on me. But, you know, like I just, I just, you know, like, it, you know, it needs to be kind of above and beyond, you know, something that um, that I've been experiencing. And, you know, I, I just kind of feel they haven't been in a great space to receive you in terms of what is it you've actually put forward in terms of trying to, 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 to kind of, you know, to get their attention. Um... I also wondered whether for some of you that there was a social situation here where maybe this person was a bit put off by the people that you knew or that you're hanging out with. So if you're in a bar with other friends or a social situation that, you know, um, you know, where, where you were hanging with like a crew of people, um, whether this other person was a bit put off by 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 who you were with. And what you were up to in terms of, you know, the behaviours that maybe were, were, were going on with these people. Maybe you were all getting drunk and having a, a few drinks or, you know, maybe there were a few laughs going on and this person's gotten the wrong idea. It's just that, the, 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 once again, the vibe is like, you know, who do you think, it's, it's attitude. So who do you think you people are? You know, like, um, you know, I kind of almost feel like this person's felt like they're a bit too good for it, you know? Um... And you know, it's 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 a little it's a little bit again it's a bit unfriendly. It's 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 not warm fuzzy. It's kind of a bit almost a bit brutal on some levels. It's like again, play, just playing really hard to get. So very interesting stuff because what I'm picking up down here with the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Swords is you. And there's a lot of frustration over this situation. Really angry. Like I kind of feel like you've really boiled up about it. It's like who do you hell, who the hell do you think you are to to do this you know like you know you're playing it really cool and then all of a sudden it's all on it's really intense and we have this amazing experience and then all of a sudden you put the brakes on 
and you're just leaving me hanging here. Like, you know, where's that going? What, like, what, what the hell is that about? And your mind is like just working overtime on it. It's just like going, what the heck is going on here? You know, you're sort of one side to the other. One minute you're here, the next minute you're over there and you just don't know what's going on in between because you can't get a bearing on to why this is actually going on. And then it just really spikes this frustration. And, and, and you know, the thing is, you know, the Wheel of Fortune is all about potential because you could see that potential as to where it could go. You know, and, 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 and this person's worked against you uh, and, and, and stopped that from rolling into something that actually unfolds and gives you this experience that you felt really to be true. You know, when you come back up here, over here with the, the two of pentacles and the hangman, you know, it, it felt felt really honest. It felt spiritual. It felt connected. And then you're kind of almost like, you know, you're back to this situation where this person is just playing it in a really, in a, in, a, in a really bad way. You know, like they've just, they've kind of lost their, their, their bearings and, 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 and lost touch with, 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 being truthful and honest and feeling, um, you know, how this might make you feel, yeah? So I feel like, you know, you feel that your power is being taken away. And, 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 and I get a sense of, 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 of revengeful feelings. It's like, I just want to get this person. I want to, you know, I, I want to slap them. You know, I kind of feel like you could always be really physical about it. You know, like the anger is really up there. It needs some, somewhere to, you've got nowhere to vent it. And, and I think what's difficult here is because you've got nowhere to vent it, you can't resolve this situation by having a face-to-face -face conversation and, and thrashing it out. You've begun to turn in on yourself. You know, you've really begun to question yourself. It's like, why does this always happen? Because the swords are about what happens in the past. And I feel that this isn't the first time that this has happened to you. It's like, why does this always happen to me? You know, why, why, why am I back here again, back in a situation where I fail to realize the potential of a relationship, fail to realize the potential of, of, of love? I feel like this is about love, of wanting to be in love with somebody. My power has been taken away from me. I've got nowhere to vent any of this. I'm angry. I'm frustrated. Um, I just want to get back at this person, you know, because at the end of the day, what it is that I really wanted to have here has um has, has has failed to manifest and 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 then you know like it's sort of like when you take that person out of the picture and you're kind of stuck with yourself and the situation that you've got then then, then you start you know giving yourself a really hard time you turn that anger back onto yourself maybe feeling that you're not good enough maybe feeling that this is always going to happen you know maybe this is this is this is what fate has in store for me is is is, is a is, is a future of not having um, you know, a, a, you know, a close, intimate relationship. I've I've been given a taste of it. I kind of felt like I could touch it, feel it, breathe it. You know that it was real. It was so close. It was there. I was I was on top of it. But 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 it was just so short lived, and it's been taken away from me. And I feel I've got no power here to to to, to sort of have some kind of a say in what's going on. Very frustrating. I think here with the six of of pentacles, it's like. It, it always seems so one-sided, you know, like, it's not, like, I'm always giving to other people. Why don't they ever give back to me, you know? A tide is in balance, you know? What, 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 what do people take me for? It's kind of like I've been thrown something, like a, like a tip bit, like, you know, like I've been thrown a little bit of something to play with here, you know, but it's just not, an, it's not enough. It's not enough to keep me going. I want something in return. I want it, but I want substance. I want it to be tangible and I want some, some, some kind of, you know, entire experience, not a piece of it, you know? It seems really unfair. It just seems really unfair. I want people to be able to give back. And the question here is, is that they're going to reach out, okay? Are they going to reach out and make contact with you? And I'm going to be honest with you, I, I, I don't feel that this person is going to do that. I don't feel that this person is going to do that. I feel like, you know, come over here to the chariot and the six of swords. You know, this person has other issues to deal with that are from their past. You can see that here with the six of swords. You know, it's, 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 it's about putting back, th putting things back into priority and getting focused on what it is that you need to do to get into safer water. You know, these are, these are issues from their past. They predate you, okay? Um, and it's coupled with the, with the chariot. The, the chariot's a card of success and focus. This person's decided that they need to they need to sort out their past issues whether it's another relationship whether it's their problem within themselves 
um, where there is an accumulation of issues that, you know, really stop them from moving forward in their world. That, you know, that either way, whatever it is, whatever, whatever the, the problem is, whatever the issue is, they've made a decision to focus on it and to move forward in their life. And they're not allowing any emotion into this situation. Okay. Um, they're going at this purely from a very rational and logical point of view of making their mind up to push forward in their life to sort out their, their, their past and they don't want to be a, just distracted. So they're, so they're putting their affairs into order. There's no emotional padding here that reflects on their experience with you in a way that validates it or that considers it or gives it an opportunity to manifest into the future. They've made their money. You know, the, the, the charity is a card that makes its mind up. It won't, it won't waver. There's, there's no telling it to, to kind of, you know, do something that it doesn't want to do because it's already made its mind up. Yeah, it's, it's a very, 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 very strong willpower. It's quite stubborn. And let's face it, you know, this, 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 this person, there's a bit of ego here as well. There's a bit of swagger. You can see that here with the chariot. You know, it's a, it's a bulky card. It's about, it's all about them. It's all about what they want. It's all about the consideration of the self. And, 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 and the thing is, you know that. You already do know that, which I think is why you're so frustrated, because you know that you've been kicked down to the bottom of the list. In fact, you've been kicked, you, you know you've been kicked off the list. That's, that's what hurts about this. I think you have to be very careful here. And this is where, where 15, the master, comes up. You know, fear and doubt is the thing that's preventing you from having a relationship here. You know, is this person the right person for you? You know, you've had a, a glimpse into the connection with them, but it's not the right relationship because they're not there for you and they're not showing you the consideration that you need so that you can, you know, have something with them. But where you're at at the moment is closing down your heart in a way that restricts and confines the potential of joy to arise within you, yeah? You don't trust that a relationship is there for you. Your heart closing down on itself in a way where you're questioning really whether you're worthy of, of, of being loved. And what's really important about this card is you need to identify what the fear is here, okay? So that you can face it and you can begin to resolve what the problem is. You know, so absence of fear, like when you don't have fear residing in the back of your mind constantly about a relationship, when you don't have that, you're ready for unconditional love. And at the moment, you're on a knife edge, whether it was this person or another person or any person at the moment in the future, because you're constantly projecting ahead in a way where you're anticipating that it's going to be a worst case scenario of them working against you or the, or, or the universe or yourself working against your ability to find love. You have to start believing in it. Yeah, you have to start telling yourself that it's there. You have to start believing in it being there. You have to feel that you're worthy of having that experience and you need to be open to that experience in a way that accepts it unconditionally, yeah? You need to bring the energy in of love and you need to begin to manifest that through intention, the right type of intention. At the moment, we're down here at the Wheel of Fortune and the Knight of Swords and you're working against yourself through frustration and anger, yeah? You're caught on a, a, a kind of like a, a kind of like a sort of rotating or spiraling uh, experience in your mind about what you think is going wrong. And you need to switch that over into what you know to be going right because you deserve to have love and love is there for you in the balance. Start believing in it. I hope this reading has made some sense to you. And if it has, feel free to leave some comments down below. It'd be great to get your feedback. Like and share this video where you can. Hit subscribe, tap on the bell icon. That'll give you notifications for any future readings that I post. And if you're interested in the services that I offer as a psychic tarot reader, you can go to www.tonyfoxtarot.com. There's plenty of information about who it is that I am, what it is that I do, and how it is you can access my service as a psychic tarot reader. Thanks very much and take care. Hi everyone, welcome to card number four. This is your reading and... 
we are looking at a no contact situation. So are they going to reach out is the big question today. And I want to start up here with Temperance and the King of Wands. You know, I, I, the first thing I feel here is that there's a really very strong connection here between the two of you. Um, this person's very responsible and I feel like they've always looked out for you. Um, I feel they almost like, it's almost, almost like they feel like they have some sort of a responsibility to you. Um, that they, they don't want to give up on you is what they, that's, that's, that's what I feel very strongly about. Um, they, in fact, they haven't given up on you. I, I feel like there's challenges here that make this a, a fairly complex situation. Um, I get a sense that this person isn't here with you um, in, in the in the geographical context. Like I feel like this person might have moved away or gone overseas somewhere, um, relocated to a different area. Um, maybe they've just moved suburb or moved somewhere that just makes it very difficult for them to to contact you. I, I felt that the physical ge geographical location was one aspect that made keeping in touch with you problematic, but there was also a practical side to things as well. Maybe this person's actually got a lot on um, in terms of their day-to-day -day experience and they can't, um, they, they just can't get, it's not, it's not about getting the time, but it's just it's just finding the right place to, to, to kind of actually be in a place where they can make contact and have a heart-to-heart. -heart. I think that that's a lot of what, what, what I feel is, is, is going on here, is this need to have a heart-to-heart. Um, I felt this person was kind of like one foot in and one foot out, you know, that they were very connected to you. They had a foot in this, this connection, this relationship with you. Um, but at the same time, they had a foot in something else. You know, they were testing out something else, testing out the water with something else. Um, and, 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 and time and distance and, and practicalities really kind of make this a bit more of a complex situation. It just wasn't straightforward, you know? They didn't have all the time in the world either. I feel like this person's got a lot going on. Um, King of Wands, very responsible card, highly professional, very work-related. It, it, work, profession, it all comes first for this person, yeah? Their priorities are about um, responsibility. And so in some ways, they've actually put themselves first. I feel like, I feel that this person has had to make a decision that prioritises their responsibility, yeah? Their responsibilities to maybe their profession, um, to the, maybe to their study, maybe to other things that are going on in their world. I felt they've had to put themselves first on that particular level. Um, and they've had to choose a path that makes the relationship with you second, second not second fiddle, it's not, not like that. It just, it, it puts you second, yeah, by default. They don't want it to be that way though. I, I questioned whether this was like an intimate relationship or whether, with, whether maybe this was a friendship. It could be any of these things. Somebody close to you, somebody who you're very connected to, somebody who has um, you know, other things going on in their world but still feels very responsible to you. Um, so lots of challenges going on here. Um, coming back over here to the Hermit and the Page of Swords. If, if I look more onto the back of what's kind of, you know, led up to this particular, particular point, I feel, I feel like this person has had a long period of uncertainty in terms of their inv involvement with you. It's like they haven't been able to fully commit. They've always got something on their mind. It's like there's, a, there's something that nags at them. It's this doubt. It's like I, I, you know, they're preoccupied and they're not fully on board. It's, it's almost like they're never truly believing in the potential of what's going on between the two of you, right? There's this constant doubt and they're never fully convinced. And it's not that they don't believe in you and it's not that they don't believe in us, like as in you and them. It's just that they have this nagging doubt that there's something else that they need to be doing. It's a discontentment. It's this feeling that something's just not right here, that I'm not in the right place. I'm not in the right time. I, I feel like I need to be doing something else and I can't let that go. And it just gets in underneath us in a way where I just don't feel like I'm confident with where we're at. It's not you. It's actually, and it's not me. It's this thing that I've got to do. It's, 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 it's the search for something more in the world, in their world. This person is very intelligent, very, very, um, 
very deep thinker. You know, very, 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 very deep into experiences. They really, they think things through and they, 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 they're very considerate, um, very analytical. They pour over things in a way where there's a lot of care, um, a great deal of responsibility that drives them to do the right thing. They take things quite seriously, actually. Um, there's nothing flaky about this character. You know, I, I don't feel like this is somebody who's flippant or fly by night. This is somebody who takes things quite seriously and they have a responsibility to others that, um, you know, so, so even in the context of what I'm telling you here, you know, maybe this person has moved on in some ways, but they still feel a responsible responsibility to you. They, they're still there for you as a person. Um, and the difficulty is, is that they've just had other priorities in their life that have had to take place and that have gotten in the way of you and them. And, and, and at times it's created a lot of uncertainty for them and for you. And you've, you've questioned whether they truly believe in you. They, they, they do, but it's just that they, they can't truly commit to what's going on until they do this other thing. I hope this makes sense. There's a, I, I think it, 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 what, what's going on here as, as well in the lead up to this is, is I think that this has undermined their confidence in what's achievable, right? And it's gotten to a point where they've had to make a decision. Now, if I come down here to death and the King of Swords, and I think this is more about you and where you're at at this particular time, I think you just got to a point. I think you're the one that's actually kind of called this off. You, I feel like you've cut away from this person. You've broken it off. You've taken control. You've had to do that. It's like, I can't do this anymore. I just get like, this has done my head in. I, I, I need to take control. I need, to, I need to clear this in a way where I'm free from having to think about the complications of what all of this means. I'm going to cut ties. I feel deeply affected about it. I feel very hurt about it in some ways. But most importantly, I've had to save my sanity, you know, because I'm, I'm sick to death of this kind of dragging me back. I've got to put myself first. I need to take control. I need to take control of the hurt because I feel really isolated. King of Swords, very isolated card. It feels quite fragile in some ways because deep down, trust is an issue for the King of Swords. And, 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 and this lack of overall continuity in terms of a commitment that actually brings the full potential of this connection to come to light, you know, as, you know it's, it's, it's kind of just been dragging on for too long. It's eroded your confidence made you feel very insecure. Maybe you've had to question whether whether you can really trust this person in terms of, of, of what they're all about and what they really want. And so I feel that you've ended it. So death, ending linked to a new beginning. I think it's been a drastic change. I think you're the one that's actually really cut off from this person. You've actually pulled right back and you're not giving them anything to deal with. And they're still there in the balance, yeah? They're still there on the parameters of your world, looking for a way to get back in. Which is really interesting because I'm going to look here with the Knight of Cups. Really deep down, if you get past all of your own insecurities and past your reaction to what it is that's going on and this sense of having to save yourself, yeah, um, you have a great deal of love and fondness for this person, which is what the Knight of Cups is all about. It's a really free-flowing card in terms of heartfelt energy. You know, you know this person's a good person. You know that from your heart. In your mind, you're very insecure about what's going on. But from your heart, you know that this is a good person. And actually, you are very tempted to reach out to this person. It's a real temptation. You, you know, you'd really like to see where things are at, to test the water yourself. yourself. Um, because you still feel the same deep down. It's just your insecurities have gotten the better of you. Where's this all going? I feel like this person is actually going to be the one who will reach out and make contact with you. They'll find a way back into your world. And you come up here to the Strength and Three of Cups, which are two really lovely cards. It's a, a really strong feeling from their part um, that they want to be with you again. They want to celebrate. You know, three, three of Cups is all about celebrations and good times. And, and your strength is that sense of feeling. It's like, you know, there's an opportunity here to reunite. There's an opportunity here to come back together, to feel what we felt before. And they haven't given up on you. You know, they, they want to build on the strength of the connection that you actually have. They see an opportunity there. And they feel that in a way where 
they won't give up on you. And you can see that here with Temperance and the King of Wands. This person has that responsibility to you. The, the Temperance here is a connection between, there's a balance between the two of you. It's quite spiritual on some levels, yeah? But this person isn't flaky. They don't give up. They work hard to get what they want. They feel responsible about that. And they step up and make it happen because they're a performer as, as far as putting in the hard jars, putting in the efforts to make something come to light, to come to fruition. So they'll work very hard towards making ground and, and making connection with you in a way that re, well, reconnects and um, seizes the day, seizes the moment, seizes the opportunity to, 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 to really, I mean, like, I don't want this to sound kind of corny, but to, to, to feel the love that they actually have for you and that you have for them. And, you know, it brings it back to you because if we come down here to feel this expression, it's like, you know, you've got to let your, you, you've got to lay your, your soul bare here, okay? You know, in some ways, you've got to know your heart and you've got to, you've got to, you've got to sing from that, you know? Um, but you have to find courage to do that. Uh, you've got something to say here. You, you have, in fact, you have plenty to say because you know how you really feel about this person. You need to get over your insecurities and step up and actually make contact with them. This is actually more about you than it is about this other person because they haven't given up on you. You've given, you're the one that's given up on this person. Um, I, I do feel strongly about that because the King of Swords does cut away in quite a ruthless way. Um, you know, th th there is no regard to the other person's feeling because the insecurity and the fear is so great. Yeah. And, and, and death is facing the king, king of Swords. You know, there's a real worry that everything is going to overcome you in a way where it's going to be a disaster, a worst case scenario. You know, that um, somehow you'll you'll lose your footing. You know, if 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 you become a victim of of your of your greatest fears. But the reality is that that's not the case. This is a really lovely person, and you know that. And it's time for you to step up and. Make contact with them and tell them how you really feel. You know, put things back on an even footing. I felt here with the Knight of Wands, I felt that in the future, there was travel involved here. Travelling, maybe travelling to them or them travelling to you. Uh, I felt like everything was taking off. There was lift off here. Effortless from a little bit of effort. The, the effort that you make to, to make contact with this person will... Help you to find a flow, help you to find lift off between the two of you. It kind of just puts things back in the air where it's where it's kind of effortless again. Um, I, I feel a lot of what this is about is, is simplicity. You know, like, like I, I get this thing of saying, like it keeps on saying to me, ride the wave of simplicity. This doesn't have to be complicated. Because actually when you step into your flow, when you step into your hard energy, when you reconnect at a, at a loving level, it's all right there, ready for the taking. Yeah. This person's just had other priorities to take care of. It's not personal. It's not you. They haven't given up on you. Um, don't be flaky on them. Don't give up on them because of your insecurities. Step up. Say what you need to say. Get it out in the open and be fearless about that. And I feel good things are coming in terms of reconnecting. Good times ahead between you and this person. Take care. Thanks very much. And... I hope this reading has made some sense to you, and if it has, feel free to leave some comments down below. It'd be great to get your feedback. Like and share this video where you can. Hit subscribe. Tap on the bell icon. That'll give you notifications for any future readings that I post. Please like and share this video where you can. And if you are interested in the services that I offer as a psychic tarot reader, you can go to www.tonyfoxtarot.com. There's plenty of information about who it is that I am, what it is that I do, and how it is you can access my service as a psychic tarot reader. Thanks very much, and take care.